Hi, welcome to another Deep Sea Foundation YouTube video where we talk about topics that are related to breast reconstruction after a mastectomy. Um, I am with Dr. Tim Matatoff out of Phoenix, Arizona with the Aesthetic and Restorative Breast Center. Correct. Yes, I like to get that right. Sometimes it's a mouthful for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, Dr. Matatoff and I are currently at Plastic Surgery The Meeting, so I wanted to take an opportunity to do uh, some videos with him and we had an interesting discussion. He just educated me on something called a hybrid flap that he uses. I'm going to let him explain it. It's very fascinating. It's another option. Yes, it's a, uh, another option for a person that does not have enough abdominal tissue or in general any laxity or uh, excess tissue in other areas. Laxity meaning? Yes. Enough stretch to, let's say, take the flap and close the abdomen or just not enough abdominal volume to replace the breast. Thank you. So in, in those situations, we still perform a DIEP mm -hmm. and, uh, and the DIEP acts as a breast in mm -hmm. front of the muscle. And then at the same time or at a later time, we'll place an implant underneath the flap. So this allows us to rebuild the breast like it is in an anatomical fashion by having uh, converting a, a reconstructive patient to an almost like an augmentation patient. Mm -hmm. uh, the flap is in front of the implant, just like the the breast is is in front of the implant. Mm -hmm. It gives you soft tissue coverage, unlike an implant reconstruction where uh, the majority of your breast is an implant volume mm -hmm. uh, volume of the breast and uh, there's some little bit of subcutaneous fat and skin. Mm -hmm. well, let's say if you're going under the muscle, you have uh, uh, the muscle uh, in front of the implant, and then the then muscle attaches to the skin. And, and in most of those situations, you have to use what's called a cellular matrix. Yeah, ADM. ADM. We hear that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a, a cadaver skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we use that as support in breast reconstruction and also uh, a way to camouflage implant imperfection. Mm -hmm. So when you place a flap in front of that, you do not need to use a cellular matrix in that situation. So you're still using, uh, using patient's own tissue. Mm -hmm. And then the f um, Let's say uh, half of the breast desired breast volume now is going to be a flap, and then potentially half would be an implant versus, like, you know, having the whole breast uh, being replaced by implant. So that allows us to um, still offer autologous reconstruction to patients that um, usually consider not candidates for autologous reconstruction, and still give them desired volume that that they're looking to be. That's amazing. Hybrid, so you just call it a hybrid breast reconstruction or hybrid Cor deep? Hybrid breast reconstruction. Yeah, uh, I can see why. We, we've done it with uh, pap flaps, we've done it with stack pap flaps and you know, getting the lateral reconstruction, and as well as the lateral thigh flaps, where, yeah. where um, it was just not enough, but the skin needs to be replaced. Yeah. Or in radiated patients, where most of the skin is being removed because it's severely damaged. Mm -hmm. You place a flap in, you replace and resurface the entire breast, and then at that point you can place a small implant underneath to um, achieve volume and projection. I gotta think that using that flap under the implant has just got to be a better situation in terms of healing for your body, I would think, in the long term. Yes, yeah, so you do have, uh, correct, so your implants can potentially last longer and as well as, uh, as well as using a smaller implant will not negate the issues that you see with a larger implant, but the implant by gravity migrates down. Yeah. So it allows you to be on a, a carry a smaller implant and still achieve the volume. Mm -hmm. yeah. I learned something new today. Thank you, Dr. Matatow. You're welcome. It's really good to have you again. Thanks for being so, here. Thank you. Yeah. Good to be here.